What's good, Homo Squad? It's your boy, Homo Ziggy. We back here with another reaction for y'all. And so, I reacted to when Lecrae responded to Kendrick with his song, Ain't Watch the Party Die. Now, we got another Christian rapper that Kendrick responded to. As you see, we got D1 respond responding to Kendrick called call it like it is and such and you already know we have the same thing that i did with lecrae we're doing with d1 got the lyrics up and trust me hey we've always known that when it comes to kendrick he'll give you that gangsterism knowledge and such and whatnot but y'all be forgetting this man can really bring in the conscience vibe like he's known for that and such so the fact that he got two Christian rappers to even respond to something like this, hey, that just shows you the power of Kendrick where he can get the ratchet and righteousness of certain rappers to respond to him and such. So, and I've seen that D1, and I see that pictures with D1 and him and with with D1 and Kendrick and such, and this was before, and this was in that like good kid mad city kendrick and such with their haircut and such so we better check this out make sure you like comment and subscribe hold on follow me on my socials up there and without further ado let's get it i want to be empathetic my heart like d1 but i will rock go crazy yeah I don't care what these people think, I'm trying to- Already, this was a different type of vibe of how Lecrae did his response, cause in a way, he matched like Kendrick's like vibe to it, but made it a little bit more different. People would say that's like the remix to that and such, but just different, like I said. But this already feels like a different type of vibe we're getting and such from that Kendrick one. I and I like how he pathetic, my heart like D1, but I and like how he repeated the starting here. Rock go crazy. Yeah. 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 I don't care what these people think. I'm trying to make these people think. Mm. With Jill Kendrick, we flipping tables, man. Call it like it is. Alright. Y'all done turned this culture trash. These so-called legends ain't no legends. I don't care if they sold millions. Are you hearing their message? Poisoning our whole community. Everybody hypnotized. Why you think nobody respect black people? No big surprise. Call it like I mean, hey, hold on. Run it back. What he said? He said, y'all done turn this culture trash. These so-called legends ain't no legend. I don't care if they sold millions. Are you hearing their message? Poisoning our whole community. Everybody hypnotized. Now, granted, I, me personally, I wouldn't say it's like that. But let's be honest. Some of your so-called favorite rappers or legends and whatnot. Let's be honest. And I'm not even trying to hate on them for like what their music was and such. Because at the end of the day, what are, at the time when you heard them to how they are currently, you've always liked what their music is. You've always, not saying all the times you're going to love what decisions they do and such when it either benefits the hip hop, but benefits like the black culture or whatever and such most of the times you always love them for what their music was and such so but sometimes in their music it may not be all sometimes you may not want to even entertain what their message was and such so he's not wrong there what i'm trying to say so personally to me it depends on who the artist is got you calling a legend on what their message was that's how I look at it. They sold millions. Are you hearing their message? Poisoning our whole community. Everybody hypnotized. Why you think nobody respect black people? No big surprise. Call it like it is. And I love New Orleans, my city, but I love Galway more. I don't care if none of y'all with me. We celebrate being stupid, and everybody's so gangster. But when you clock in for that white man, you be on your best behavior. Hold up. Call it. <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> that's a. Let's be honest. That is a fact. Dorino. Cause hold on, 
Everybody want to talk about they gangster this, they gangster that. But when it's time to get that money and such, hey, you best believe some. The fact that there's certain things called a freaking the white voice for black people where you got to talk proper and such that whenever you're talking to other people and such, the certain black person got to. To me, it's like this. At the end of the day, what you see from me is what you get. I ain't. The only time I'm changing, if I'm going to change this for me, not to please anybody else or the white man or whatever. Look, if I'm going to please, if I'm going to change, it's for me, not for the white man or whatever. It's for me. We celebrate being stupid and everybody's so, so gangster. gangster. But when you clock in for that white, white man, man, you be on your best behavior. behavior. Hold Call on. it like it is. Yeah, most of the media people laugh. Y'all were never really, really cool before you got inside of this here game. It's the game y'all be investing. You ain't helping nobody grow. Tell Joe Budden I'm on a mission. So don't butt in, Joe. Mm. Man, I'm going. Joe Budden. Budden. And because the thing with Joe Budden and D1, those two have always been like on some type of beef and such over the years or so so and I like how he did a little wordplay on Joe Budden and again my man for finding sounds they freaking the mistakes you know is always gonna be there but we hear what he's saying but I always want to know what was the beef what's the beef between D1 and Joe Budden I don't know why y'all let me know in the comments below Nobody tell Joe Budden I'm on a mission. So don't butt in, Joe. Man, I'm going. Like so it ain't no pressure on me. I'm applying the pressure. I'm powered by G-O-D. And we gon' be all right. That's what Kendrick Lamar said. And in the words of Lil... No, we gon' be all right. That's the song by Kendrick. The all right song. We gon' be all right. And we gon' be all right. That's what Kendrick Lamar said. And in the words of Lil Wayne. The sky is the limit. Yeah. Mm, hip hop is dead and y'all the ones who killed it hey to me hold on let me mix I gotta say, I ain't saying hip hop is fully dead and such maybe it's because the more of certain it's basically like this there's too much of the ones that's always talking about the drug in the drugs the like he was saying the ones who be poisoning the con the whole community and such them be the and hell with the whole thing with diddy and his situation and the fact that he wanted to say this is a hip-hop situation or whatever or if that's what he said nah nigga the fact that with this this is saying this ain't hip-hop hell one of his i think it was one of his former artists there and such bad boy artist shine I could be wrong. Y'all let me know who it was. But I remember a certain person saying about how whatever is happening in Diddy's situation, that ain't hip-hop. That's just a him problem. So, trust me. Nine times out of ten, this is how I look at it. It's not hip-hop that is dead. It's the, two, it's the certain people who people make to be famous that making is that going to be making hip-hop be dead. Because... Y'all be trying to celebrate the wrong type of legends. Let's be honest. That's how I look. and chance and y'all need to attend just like my shoe size mm. hold on just like y'all need to attend just like my shoe size hold on but he's saying I don't know I don't get I don't get that part but he's saying hey some of y'all claim that y'all soldiers y'all gangsters y'all gorillas and all that but y'all there's a difference between real and the thing is when it comes to hip hop people just be not every 
person in hip not every rapper in hip hop is gotta be like this gangsterism, this tough guy energy and such cause some of the some of your favorite hip hop legends, they wasn't even gangsters gangsters. They most of them wasn't even in the streets and such. And I'm not saying you gotta be in the street to be a gangster and such cause nigga I guarantee you some of your favorite rappers in such, right? Whether it's from whether it's the legends or up and coming or currently in such, right? Some of your favorite gangsters, some of your favorite rappers and such, or an artist or whatever, nine times out of ten, they wasn't even gangster and such. They just be themselves and them toughens themselves that way. Not because they were in the streets, but they because they whatever situation they was doing. They did it the right way, legal way, and tough it out. They didn't just automatically just hopped in the streets and such. Granted, it's not everybody is not gonna just tough it out and such. Some maybe, some maybe even was addicted to that at one point. Was had to do it from the jump and such. So what I'm trying to say is. Not every rapper you hear and such be talking about how they were soldiers in this street life and such. No, the hell you want. That's how I look at it. So, here's what it is. Stop playing dumb. It's good versus evil. It's only two sides. Class and session. Y'all need to attend. Just like my true side. Murder music hit different when somebody in my crew died. Oh. The biggest game. Y'all need to attend. Just like my shoe size. The 10. 10 like the shoe size 10 size number mm, now I just got it mm. Just like my true side Murder music hit different when somebody in my crew died The biggest gangsters in rap got blind hands Blue eyes, we getting pimped What y'all wanna do guys? Your new single just dropped? Yeah Time to entertain us with new lives Whoever's mm. Your new single just dropped? Yeah Time to entertain us with some new lies <laughs> Cause that fake, that fake beef be a mother. Single just drop, yeah. Time to entertain us with new lies. Whoever said I'm canceled, man, I'm laughing in these people's mm. face. I work for God, dummy. My impact could never be erased. Tell America I'm the same brother I used to be. Before y'all was introduced to me, consistency ain't new to me. So call it like it is. Y'all the soul inside with your coonery. That dollar bill got y'all whipped. That's dead, man. It's the eulogy. And whoever that dollar bill got us, got us all, got y'all whipped. Trust me. <laughs> Everybody does something for the almighty dollar and such. <laughs> and that's what makes some of y'all in this world be messed up. All for the pet. That's why, that's why to me, I don't care what it is. And look, I granted, people always need money in order to financially be good. But if you're just going to live your life and live all in all just for the money and stab somebody in the back who supported you through your up, up and comings and such like from your bottoms to the top and keep on going and you just going to stab in the back all for the money then let's be honest you wasn't even supposed to be successful then in the first place because if that's how you're going to treat somebody who is down with you from day one and they were there with you now to your limp to your tops and such and then and keep on going and then you just gonna stab them like that in the back yeah them the type of people you don't want to even support no more I don't care how fire your music is if that's how your actions are mm -mm. I ain't rocking with that you can be over there be over yeah. there. Time to entertain us with new lives. Whoever said I'm canceled, man, I'm laughing in these people's face. I work for God, dummy. My impact could never be erased. Tell America I'm the same brother I used to be. Before y'all was introduced to me. Consistency ain't new to me. So call it like it is. Y'all the soul inside with your coonery. That dollar bill got y'all whipped. That's dead, man. It's the eulogy. And whoever said what they gon' do to me, man, I hit your whole block up. <laughs> with prayers, man. Y'all ain't used to me. To be finished, loop that thing back. Let's go. Call it like it is. Call it what it ain't. Yo, I'm liking how D1 just responded to this like a real hip hop type thing. Like a real. And the thing is, it's not even about his. 
and I'm glad like with Lecrae and D1 they speaking about how not even just with because in my first initial reaction to when I reacted to Lecrae I mean Kendrick's like song watch the party die right I initially thought it was all aimed at Drake and at academics some of it was but major but now that when I'm looking back at it and listening to it it was mostly of talking about how not even just in hip-hop just in general of how the world is and such of how just how the community is just all crazy and, and all messed up and whatnot and then with now Lecrae and with D1 now added on to it hey what can I say in the what basically what Cat Williams said at the start of this year with 2024 the lies will be exposed and such and boy oh boy is every lie from whether it be music from comedians to youtubers everybody's getting exposed for their stupidity their racism their bigotry whatever the case may be everybody is ex getting exposed for their wickedness whether it's in music or whatever you getting exposed and trust me we gotta root out all the evil cause we don't need it no more we have to have some positive vibes in here man all black up with prayers man y'all ain't used to me to be finished loop that thing back let's go call it like it is call it what it ain't call it what you want no i ain't on that train i'm speaking from the soul and i don't care who feel it yeah hip-hop is dead and y'all the ones who killed it no i am not impressed and i stay there with my chest don't try to call me preaching refer to me as blessed so call it like it is and call it what it ain't call it what you want no i ain't on that train this was a totally different. I'm trying to make these people think. Mm. I don't care what these people think. I'm trying to make these people think. This was, like I said, this was a totally different response of how Lecrae and Kendrick even calling out the community and such, or and hip hop, you can say. But hey, man. Shout out to D1. My man was really, like he said, call it like it is. Because <laughs> he he did not hold back one iota. My man really just literally called it like it is and saying that hip-hop is dead and y'all the ones who killed it. <laughs> At the end of the day, who gonna... He just believing in what he believes in. So I could never be the one to tell him that he's wrong. But man, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. What y'all think what he said is y'all what y'all think of what he said is true. Is hip hop dead? Cause even though I was saying my stuff, who knows? Maybe I could be wrong, maybe I'm not. But y'all let me know in the comments below. But either way, it's been your boy Homo Ziggy signing out. Stay positive, keep the vibes up. I'm out.